All right, coming up next, it's a UFC heavyweight showdown. Well, pretty much every time out in the UFC, DC, this man has put on a striking clinic, and that is his methodology coming in here tonight. He'll try to keep the fight on the feet. And that's why we tune in, right? That's why we tune in. We tune in to see guys that are dynamic. We tune in for the speed. We tune in for the knowledge of the striking game, the ability to set traps, the ability to find the jab, the ability to find the right hand, the right kick, the left kick, the knees, the elbows. He truly uses every weapon that he has in his arsenal to try and finish his opponent. You make one mistake, night's over. You cannot make mistakes against a guy that has the striking acumen yep. of this guy right here. And the jab is not as underutilized a weapon as it was in MMA, say, five or seven years ago, but he's got as good a jab as anyone in the business, and that is where all of his striking flows off of. We'll see how it goes for him in this matchup tonight. Well, always exciting when this guy shows up on the fight card, Daniel. He is a true mixed martial artist. Not really any glaring weaknesses, at least, that he's put on film thus far. He's the new breed of fighter. Those kids that start doing everything at six years old. They start wrestling, they start doing jiu-jitsu, they start to box. He's one of those guys that has every one of those skills and he does them all at an A-plus level. He's got tremendous cardio. He is the type of fighter that in a few years will just litter the UFC roster across the board. And oftentimes his opponents will say he doesn't really do anything special, but he does everything at a plus level and he believes he'll have a lot of advantages in this matchup tonight. And now our tail of the tape for this heavyweight fight. So a more than five year gap between these two fighters when it comes to the age. Some differences in height and reach as well. Now for the official introductions, here's Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge of the octagon, Dan Mergliata. This is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the MGM Grand Garden Arena in Las Vegas, it's time! Five rounds in the UFC heavyweight division. Introducing first, fighting! This man is a kickboxer, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands six feet one inch tall, weighing in at 236 pounds. Black Mamba. And now introducing his opponent, fighting at the red corner. This man is a mixed martial artist, holding professional record of 14 wins, four losses, and one draw. He stands five feet ten inches tall, weighing in at 145 pounds. Fighting out of Busan, South Korea. All right, commit to the rules in the locker room. I want you to obey my commands at all times, protect yourself at all times. I want a nice, clean, safe fight. Touch gloves, back your corners, not fun. You ready? Are right, you ready? All right, so here we go with the start of this fight. I'm anxious, man. What a matchup it is, and it's going to be interesting. And it's going to be interesting to see who has the upper hand. Here. It's going to be difficult to find out how this plays out, right? Striker versus well-rounded fighter. Who's going to be the one that's going to control where this fight takes place? Oh, really using his reach advantage there as he lands the punch, DC. Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by the coach. Well, straight right hand has been a good weapon for him. He misses with it there. Oh, tagged him with that right hand. What a strike that was. What a strike that he is landing over and over again. His opponent will need to make some adjustments. Oh, lands a stiff punch there. Nice connection. Oh, nice land. It won't take many of those. Oh, misses with the jab. Look at how he turns his hip over when he throws that kick. Oh! He's 
troubles. He's hurt bad. Oh, he might be out. Look at how he turns his hip into that leg kick. Campbell inches right there, boy. Wow. It was a good night if that landed. That was a good Nice strike. I mean, he's cutting them down to size with these beautiful leg kicks. Continues to mix it up, going to the head, mixing in some body shots. Look at him whip his hip into that kick. He's digging his entire weight into those punches to the body. Two minutes have expired here in our opening round. Circling to his right. Big head kick lands. Trying to establish that jab once again. Big punch land. Well, the right hand has been there at times, not that time. Nice one, two there. He missed with that jab attempt there. Dig and kick. Oh! Punch lands over the top. How's he gonna follow this one up? Punch is blocked. Just misses with the jab. Look at him whip his hip into that kick. Nice one two there. There's no give on that leg kick. Oh, big roundhouse attempt just misses. Again, he's looking for that left. It's not there. And a nice job at least staying upright on that. Nice. He blocks the punch. Oh, Superman punch. Not always easy to execute. He did so there. Oh, nice job to land the straight punch there. Must be nice to have that kind of reach advantage, DC. I know you can't necessarily relate. 30 seconds to go. Punch. 15 seconds remain in the round. What a sweep! Final seconds of round one. What a fight so far. So a high-level round there for him. We'll show you some of the action here. And you got to think the knockdown is going to be featured prominently here. Thought he might have had him out of there. He thought he had him. But the guy's tough. The guy's durable. He has a fantastic chin. But he just needs to stay the course. He does not need to be discouraged. Think about this. You're winning. And you're winning going away. That was just a moment. Keep going in the same direction and you will get the finish that you want so bad. Second round here. Big call for punch land. Now he gets back to range. Beautiful body kick. 
Well, he has landed some good shots, DC, but really unable to string anything together in terms of solid combinations. Here. It's because he's not committing to it fully. He throws his jab. He may float a right hand out there, but he's not really sitting down on the right hand. He really doesn't seem to have the intent on landing it. He's got to be confident that it's going to land, and he's got to really throw his whole entire body into those strikes. Choi's shot there is blocked. You don't know when that leg kick's coming. Lunges forward with a left air. Circling towards the left now. He has a commitment to kick it tonight, and it shows. All right, he'll engage in a single collar tie. He's throwing every part of himself into these big leg kicks. Oh, big punch lands. Oh, big roundhouse attempt just misses. That could have been lights out. Oh, nice job to slip off the center line there. His head movement has been a huge, huge factor defensively in this fight. You can never be a stationary target, so even if the feet aren't moving, you gotta be ready to slip that head at a moment's note. Look at that whip action that comes from him throwing that kick. Well, he's really picked up the pace here in round two. Much more aggressive now here and starting to find himself in the pocket. Oh, he's got it going now. Nice connection there, DC. Another punch landing. Blocks the shot. Big kick land. Single collar tie here. Nice punch, Lance. So he's really starting to put together some significant body shots here. These are going to take their toll as this fight goes on. Throwing that jab now again, the fighter evades. And he lands a kick to the leg now. Pretty good work on the feet tonight by the Korean Super Bowl. Wow, that right punch has been the money weapon for him tonight, and he landed it again there. If his opponent does not change something, he will continue to throw the strike until he makes him stop throwing. That kick blocked by the Korean Super Bowl. Oh! Swing and a miss with that punch by Choi. Beautiful leg kick thrown. Oh, he lands another strike to the body, really starting to connect on a lot of shots to the... He's rocked. That was a beautiful hook. It landed perfectly. And it hurt his opponent very bad. Good punch, Lance. Choi's uppercut to the head. That one, though, blocked by the defense. Look at the turtle in that kick. Keeps going back to that jab. Keeps throwing that jab, but unable to land. The knee there. Nice deception there to get that knee to the target. A really good knee. Nice job of driving it right to the target. Get the plan exactly where you want. Oh, effective strike there by the Korean Super Bowl. Big knee there. Ten seconds remain in round two. Can't take me and over. Better check. Take a look back at some of the action in that previous round, DC. A lot to like on both sides, really. I mean, both were intent on going forward. And what happens when nobody wants to take a step back? They meet in the middle. That's exactly what they did, and they both found success over the course of that round.
You ready? You ready? Third Go. round underway. Oh, and he lands another strike to the body. Not a ton of real estate there, but he certainly found it. Visibly limping here. Nice punch man over the top. Caught that kick there. Well, you see him land the jab there. He's got the oh, huge connection by him there. He needs to get on his bicycle, John. He needs to get into space so that he doesn't get finished. Ground and pound is good. Probably my favorite striking realm in MMA, and he's as good as it gets. The problem is his opponent is not controlling his posture. He's allowing his opponent to get up, and when he does, he creates this space to land these beautiful ground and pound combinations. Ooh, what a punch. And there comes the separation now. Well, not only has he stayed aggressive as he was in the previous round, landing a high volume of strikes, but he's also been efficient, not just with his strikes, but also with his body movement. Complete performance out of this fighter here tonight. Big leg kick lands. And he lands a punch there. Pretty good connection by him. Great connection. He's in a great flow right now. Well, earlier in the round, he clearly got stunned by his opponent, but he just has not responded well at all. He hasn't responded well. He hasn't gotten himself back going after getting hurt so bad early in the round. As effective a straight punch as we've seen all night. Huge straight punch lands, and he's got it hurt very bad. Oh, no! down the stretch. He is really lighting him up now. Nice liver shot. Oh, worked hard to get up again, but he looks like he's compromised. Oh! tonight, but we're going to get to some highlights from this one. This was a fight that had it all, and for my money, his best performance to date. His best performance to date in the biggest moment. In the biggest moment, you got to show up, and that's exactly what he did tonight. He used every bit of his skill to get the job done. Now we go inside the octagon. Bruce Buffer with the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Dan Bergliana has called a stop to this contest at three minutes of the third round. Declaring the winner by knockout, Cliff Bamba! And there is the man of the moment, and what a moment this must be like for a professional athlete, right? I know you enjoyed the birth of your kids, right? Yeah. But you knock out a man in a cage fight, I can't think of anything better. I mean, there's nothing like it. You know, you don't even hear the one that lands that puts out your opponent's lights. And tonight, he got that done. And he should be very proud of the work he and his coaches got done tonight. 